Okay, now let's be clear. Just because it's time to take out the braids, it don't mean you're not cute. Because, you know, my braids, they might be dry and dusty, but we still, okay, we still can keep it cute. when your braids has ran its course, okay? All right, we done done everything we could do. Put on a wrap, put on a scarf, throw her up, try to rejuvenate the edges to try to take away from what's going on up in here. We're not gonna keep doing that, okay? We just gonna take her down and do what needs to be done, okay? So one of the first indicators that it's time is when you find yourself doing one of these, Okay, ladies, you know what I'm talking about when I say when you do one of these. Okay, she a little itchy. Okay, you gotta get up in that scalp. You hear what I'm saying? You done oiled it as much as you could. And if you wash it, then your hair is gonna revert back to its natural state. That curl pattern gonna go in and it ain't gonna match the braid no more. So I wouldn't even recommend washing the scalp, okay? I just, just take them out. Just take them out. Next one, we all love this one, okay? When you're peeping the what? When you peep the new growth. Keep this new growth, like, look, look at this new growth, look at it. Look at that, you see? Wow! She real new growthy, huh? I already know. Come on, look at the waves coming in, the little crinkles. Okay, she real, she's giving new growth. She is giving new growth, and guess what? I ain't mad at the new growth. Never will, never have been. The knotless ain't gonna last as long as box braids. That's just what it is. I'ma just tell you straight up. So, sorry to break the news, but I'm just a messenger, okay? So, you gonna have them in your head a lot less than if you were to have a box braid. You might have the box braids in for like, Two and a half months, at least that's me. I don't like keep my braids in too long when they start getting dusty, okay? Knotless should be in less than a month, literally. If box braids gonna be in two and a half, knotless less than a month, especially when they start getting dry and dusty like mine, okay? Just saying. So, indicator number three. When they start getting real frizzy, especially your real hair up here, okay? So, you see mine, how the frizz is just, it's just right there. You feel me? The frizz is there. It wasn't there when she was done, but she's there now. It's like, you had them in too long. It's about that time. That's just an indicator like, okay, it, it's the knotless I've ran its course. It's time to take her out. Next one. When you can barely see the parts, you can't really see the parts as much. Like, you can see them, but you can't, they, okay. Rewind. You can see them, but they not as crispy as they were when you first got them done. You hear what I'm saying, okay? When the boxes start kind of coming together and the parts are starting to disappear, that's an indicator that, girl, it's time. Let it go. Also, when your scalp start getting a little flaky, most likely it's getting flaky from you scratching it, okay? Because that's me right now. Yeah, this is. Because it's time to take them out, okay? So, I got some flakes. You know, I got a couple. Let me get y'all a little close up so y'all can just see what I'm talking about. So, I got some in this little region here. Look at that little, you see that? You see the crest. Okay, you see she's giving crest, okay? She's giving crusty scalp. That ain't cute. Girl, it's time. It's time to take me down. Another indicator, which I guess it goes into what I said before about the frizz. You see how my real hair is starting to peek through? You see it? Do you see it? Okay, look. Real hair, she's poking through y'all. She's saying, give us free. <laughs> she's tired. She wants to be free. When your real hair start coming out, just take her down. Cause edge control and gel and all that can't even help it at that point. It's like, girl, let her be gone with the wind. Do you feel me? Also, look, look at this. You see how limp my curl is? Girl, 
when your ends ain't curling, depending on what style you got, when the curls is gone, I mean, obviously you can probably recurl it and do all that if you want, but it's like, girl, just save the rejuvenation. Save yourself time and unwind and take the braids down. When your baby hairs is starting looking frizz, I mean, obviously that's an easy fix, you know, slap some gel on her, jam her down, beeswax it, whatever your edge control preference is, whatever, you know what I'm saying? When I start getting frizz, I mean, you could, you know, swoop her back to how she was, but if the baby hairs is swooped and the rest of the head is looking a little sus, those two don't go hand in hand. It just doesn't. Last but not least, is when you just don't feel cute. It's like, look, when you feel like you putting on scarf after scarf or cap after cap, trying to like hold on like a hubcap in the fast lane to your braids, even though it's time to take them down, girl, just let it go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on when it's time to take out your knotless braids. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. So until my next video, peace.